Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I bring you another battle against 741 and A52BEC, who I just beat in UU twice. Uh, we are playing Box Roulette for our third match. This was three matches in a day, um, but I'm just spreading that over two different upload days in the same week. So, yes. Box Roulette match. Uh, I get actually some really cool Pokemon that um, I've been wanting to use for quite some time. I, I miss Celebi. I miss Celebi. And of course, then I've got one Pokemon that I wish I'd never seen again, which is that freaking Waylord. Freaking Waylord. Useless Waylord. Uh, on his team, I see a Klefki. I see an um, I see an Aerodactyl. But you know who's scaring me the most? Uh, that Rampardos. I know this is really strange, but uh, there was this battle back in Gen 5 where um, dude swept me with a Rampardos. And it just... It's stays with me in my memory, like I see a Rampardos and I start panicking, I start hyperventilating. So anyway, I lead off with um, my Celebi, as he leads off with his Minetric, I'm expecting it to be a Mega Minetric, and I'm expecting um, uh, to take a Flamethrower, but I think I can take it, and indeed, I take it I take it decently well, I wasn't going to say quite well, it wasn't quite well. I survive, that's the important thing. I get my rocks up, and he was like, actually right before I set up my rocks, he was like, please don't tell me you're about to set up rocks, and I was like... Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I withdraw here, just a straight up withdrawal. I go out now into Starbuck. I'm thinking that he's probably choice locked um, because he did Mega Evolve, and I think the only other Minerectrics I've seen have been choice locked. So yeah, um, he does a flamethrower. He's gonna have to withdraw here. That's fine. I look at his team and think Water Spout should be free and easy. So I go ahead and I'm gonna go for the Water Spout. Uh, Point Stones uh, dig into Klefki. Um, what is it going to be? Sash Cluffy? And it looks like it's going to be two at KO. I'm like, oh wow, Waylord, you're doing work. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, sorry I badmouthed you not not two minutes ago, but okay. So he goes for another Water Spout, and I have managed to two hit KO this Cluffy and keep him to a single layer of spikes. Uh, so that's great, because entry hazard's no good, and I have no spin. So, Manetric is out. Minetric is out. That's fine. Uh, he's going to go ahead and Volt Switch, and I'm going to leave Starbuck in to die. Uh, I could have predicted a, a move, and I could have gone out into Golurk, but you know what? Waylord, you got to kill. Let's not be greedy. You're kind of a useless Pokemon anyway. So, I let him die, and that was cool of me, because he had just gotten a kill, and I'm like, you should be nicer to your Pokemon. Anyway, he goes out into Aerodactyl. And actually, looking at the Pokemon on his team, he's got a lot of Pokemon that don't want to take Water Spouts or Surfs at that point of at that range of health. Anyway, I got out. And, I go now out into Maggie Thatcher as he's in his to his Aerodactyl. I'm thinking this is going to be awesome, Mega versus Mega, and then he withdraws. And I'm like, oh, you don't want Mega's going to go head up, go head to head. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. I didn't actually. I don't actually know how much Heavy Slam would do against Aerodactyl because um, Mega. Uh, Mega Agron is heavy, but I think Mega Aerodactyl is pretty heavy too. And now his Auroros is really heavy, but unfortunately it's 4x weak to Heavy Slam. So it doesn't matter that this thing probably had 40 base power. I still KO, so um, yeah, that sucks. And that's a shame. I really love I love the way Auroros looks, which is a Pokemon. Um, sorry for the profanity. Out now is the, uh, the villain, and I'm like, I don't know what this thing does. I've never actually seen one in battle, and it puts me to sleep. And I'm like, oh, that's right, this thing gets compound eyes, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, my Mega Aggron is asleep, and I consider what I want to do, and I decide, you know what, I'm going to stay in. I'm actually going to stay in, because I don't think he can do anything that awesome to me. Turns out he can go for Hurricane, which is a holy crap ton of damage. And I get the first turn wake, and that's lame hacks, but he got the confused, and I'm going to hit myself in the confusion. Does that balance out? I say no. I think that my first turn wake was bigger hacks. Here I do a move that's either the smartest, most awesome move ever, or the dumbest move in creation. I go out now into my primate, knowing that I've got vital spirit. He can sleep powder and it's not going to affect me. Um, but had he gone for another hurricane, I'd have a dead primate on my hands. I take out the villain with a 100% um, accurate uh, ice punch, rather than going for the stone edge, which I also have. Now it is going to be Rampardos, and I'm thinking what I want to do here, and I, you know, Ice Beam it could do a de decent chunk of damage, but I don't want to really do that, uh, because it's not going to KO, I don't think. So I go now out into Clank, because Clank has two moves that are super effective against this guy, and I don't think he can do too much against me. He goes to the Rock Polish, and like, works for me, I don't care. 
Um, you know, I was going to be slower than you anyway, most likely. So, I decide I'm going to go ahead and set up a sub because I'm predicting him to switch. Um, into what is a good question? I guess he probably, I was thinking he would predict the EQ and go out into Aerodactyl. Instead, he went for Pursuit, and I'm so lucky it didn't get me down below 25%. Because if it had, that would have been, I wouldn't have been able to sub, and I would have lost Clank to nothing. So now I'm behind a sub, though, and I can go for the Focus Punch. I'm not quite ballsy enough to go for an unpredicted Focus Punch this match, but a Focus Punch is going to be a good thing, and I will manage to KO this Rampardos because, you know, Adamant, Iron Fist, there's no way this isn't going to KO. And health goes down, 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 and I KO. There's no surprises there. Uh, I hope I wasn't, like, psyching you guys out, like, thinking that maybe it did, you know, maybe it wasn't going to KO, but no, it KOs, it's fine. Um, Clank is now up to uh, 68%, or not 68%, 68 health. Uh, as out comes Aerodactyl, I'm thinking, okay, Aerodactyl's probably going to take me out. You know what, I'm fine with that. Uh, I've got plenty of other Pokemon. Uh, well, I don't actually have plenty of other Pokemon. I'm thinking, actually, he's going to sweep me with Aerodactyl now. I look at my team, I'm thinking, this isn't a great situation because Aerodactyl's super fast. I think it might actually outspeed my Scarf Primate. Um, I said Primate. I meant Primate. Uh, anyway, Clank dies now to a Dragon Claw, and I'm like, mm, this isn't good. I go on out into Maggie Thatcher, um, but I'm going to take Spikes damage, and I'm down to very, I'm down to pretty low HP, so I'm like, this is not a good situation for me to be in. He goes for Earthquake. I'm like, filter, filter, please. And I survive on eight. Holy crap. And I go for the Heavy Slam here. And I'm thinking, uh, maybe he could have survived that full. He's not going to survive it at half. And I do take out Aerodactyl here. Holy crap, thank God. Uh, yeah, that, I really, I thought he was going to sweep me with Aerodactyl. But he doesn't. And now I'm going to let his Minetric take me out. So I can get the free switch into someone else. And this is going to be a good game. So he's locked into T-Bolt. Celebi, in theory, could just wall him. And I have Recover on it, so I can just recover it off. But I'm not going to do that yet. First, I'm going to go out into Marcel. Now, if he's Scarfed, I've just lost my um, I've just lost my Primate. But he's not. I'm thinking he's Specs. And uh, therefore, I'm able to take him out. And that is a dead Minetric. And I have won the battle. Three zip. Uh, great game, 741-852-BEC. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. I hope you've enjoyed this layout this week. If you haven't, please tell me in the description, or in the annotation, no, in the comments. Sorry. Uh, I'm, that's it, folks. I'm done.